What's up everybody, Andy here, and welcome back to Kit Guru. So have you ever been in that situation where you're maybe out and about, working from a laptop on a trip, and just don't have enough connectivity options? Well, I certainly have, and it's incredibly frustrating. Luckily, there are ways around that with docking stations, but they're often big, clunky, and sometimes even require dedicated power supplies. None of that's the case here today because we're checking out the all-in-one USB-C dock, the mini portable dock from PNY. So if you like what we do here at KitGuru from us, the presenters, the website reviewers, and everyone else working hard behind the scenes that you might not know of, then make sure to smash that subscribe button because it does help to support us for free. The PNY all-in-one mini dock is just that. It's tiny, coming in at a price tag of $74.99. It's on the slightly pricier side, but what it offers can be a lifesaver for some. So stick around until the end to see if I think it's worth it or not. This little fellow has nine inputs, requires no external power, and it's compatible with both Mac and Windows, providing that you have a USB-C port, of course. I'll be running some data transfer speed tests later, but first let's check out the design and available ports. So dimensions wise, it's roughly the the size of an empty wallet at just 13.5 by 9 by 2 centimeters and it weighs in at just 160 grams. It's a rectangular shape with rounded edges on either side and features a soft touch rubber finish. This soft touch finish is actually quite nice when you feel it. It's not sticky or tacky and it covers the entirety of the surface and the edges as well. It does attract a lot of grease though but clean hands don't leave visible fingerprints. On the top, which I really like as it's very easy to see and clear as well, there are symbols that indicate all the inputs available on either side. This means there's no fumbling around when you're wanting to connect something. Just glance down and plug it in or at least see which ports are available. These icons are grey but easily visible on the black rubber finish and in the centre we have the PNY logo. On the back we have the standard certifications and model numbers but you'll also see a cable tucked away in a recessed area. This flat cable cable sits flush against the back and if we take it out you can see it's molded to the exact shape to fit perfectly. Following the cable around it stops on the top edge. The cable is thick and feels sturdy but sadly I'm not a fan overall. The cable is far too short in my opinion at approximately 8.5 centimeters and being a flat design it doesn't bend very well. So if you're plugging this into the back of a laptop like I have chances are you're not going to be able to see the dock at all because there's not enough enough room to pull it around to either side. Now of course this isn't an issue if your laptop has a USB-C port on either side. Let's take for an example an Apple MacBook because they usually have them on the sides. My other issue is that the cable is non-detachable but I do understand why it's not detachable as this dock supports power delivery up to 100 watts. So PNY don't want you to be able to use a lower spec cable that may not support this amount of power and it could lead to issues, you know, not a good thing. So I understand why is not removable. The one good thing about this design is that it makes the dock compact and very easy to carry around or drop in your bag without worrying about forgetting cables, so that is a plus. The main aim of this portable dock is, of course, to increase your productivity by expanding your I.O. options. On one side we get a USB-C port which supports data and power delivery charging. This means if you have a compatible laptop, let's again take a MacBook for example, you can connect your original USB-C power adapter and it will pass through the dock and charge your laptop. That's a pretty good feature to have but sadly my laptop does not support USB-C charging so I couldn't test this out for you. Be aware that this type C power delivery port supports a maximum of 100 watts, 20 volts, 5 amps. Next up we have an RJ45 or Ethernet port for a wired internet connection. This port does support gigabit Ethernet too, so that's a bonus. This is excellent for those laptops or notebooks that don't come with dedicated RJ45 ports and could be a lifesaver if you're in an area with no Wi-Fi but wired internet is available, you know, maybe you're at a certain workplace or something like that. I was surprised to see an aging VGA port on the dock but it's actually quite a good addition. Many businesses or work 
workplaces may only have VGA monitors available to use, and how frustrating would it be if your dock only had two HDMI ports, for example, and you didn't have a VGA adapter. This VGA port supports a resolution of up to 1920 by 1200 at 60 hertz. Next up, we get a more modern HDMI port, giving you a maximum resolution of up to 4K at 30 hertz. But sadly, in 2021, that's not that great, especially given the price of this dock. This supported resolution implies an older, maybe HDMI 1.2 port, and we'd have liked to have seen at least an HDMI 1.4 or better to support 4K 60 hertz. I am glad to see that VGA port for backwards compatibility, but I'd personally have preferred two modern HDMI ports myself. Since the VGA port could get you out of a sticky situation someday, I won't mark this down as a con, but the HDMI port is an older generation one and I will be marking that down as a negative. Spinning the dock around, we have our other ports. We have another USB-C port, so two in total, and we have two USB-A 3.1 ports, which is ideal for those that may have limited availability on their laptops. Of course, you can connect all sorts of things here like peripherals, like mice, keyboards, headsets, or even printers or anything else you can think of really. Finally, we have our card slots. I'm really happy they haven't chosen the standard SD card slot that I often see. Instead, we not only get an SD card slot, but we also get a dedicated micro SD slot. The number of times I've used, let's say, a GoPro and had to fumble around trying to find that annoying converter to convert from micro SD to SD, it's so frustrating and sometimes you just lose them. Maybe you have a drone or maybe your phone. This is going to save you time and to put your mind at ease when you do lose that annoying adapter. There's a nice cutaway around the micro SD card slot too, so that it's easier for you to remove it. Okay, so let's do some tests. I wanted to test out my external SSD to see if the speeds are affected when using the dock. So PNY claims simply that this is a high speed dock, but they don't actually give you any more information than that. I used my Samsung T5 external 500 gigabyte SSD connected to my laptop via the USB-C cable, and then I ran Crystal Dismark. I then connected the T5 to the dock via the USB-C cable and ran Crystal Dismark again. Now, as you you can see there's a significant drop of just over 100 megabytes per second in read speeds and a drop of 70 megabytes per second in write speeds. Now compared to being directly connected to the laptop, I wasn't really expecting this much of a hit, but the results are slightly disappointing to me. But more on that later, so wait until the end. I also tested this exactly the same way, but using the USB-A cable straight to the laptop, and then once again via the dock's USB-A port. Now this time, the mini dock performs much better. Crystal Disk Mark shows the drop in performance was much less, dropping just seven megabytes per second in read speeds and six megabytes per second in write speeds. Now these results are much better than the USB-C results, and I think this is a more acceptable drop in performance that isn't too noticeable and more of what I expected as well, really. Next up, I actually tested my SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte SDXC V30 SD card for you. So I did it in my HP Omen's internal SD card reader first, and then I did it again via the Docs SD card reader. Another pretty impressive result here, only a small drop in performance. You can see the read speeds only drop by 2.5 megabytes per second and write speeds drop by just 1.4 megabytes per second. I'm quite happy with this performance and I think that's acceptable personally. These results are mostly promising, but of course we can't ignore that USB-C performance dip. Now this really does come down to you and your own specific needs and requirements. If you absolutely need extra ports and the fastest speeds possible for you, then this might not be the dock for you. Whereas on the other hand, you may be willing to sacrifice some performance for the benefit of having those additional connectivity options that come from just a single USB-C port and it doesn't require its own power as well. So you've got to kind of weigh up the pros and cons here. Build quality wise, the PNY mini dock is actually really good. The finish is brilliant. The cable stores away nicely and using all of these ports has been great. Whenever I've connected anything to these ports, they felt secure. Each input hasn't felt loose or anything like that. They stay in place well. And that was my initial concern. I was kind of worried they would wiggle around too much, but that's not the case here. So let's go over some pros and cons. 
So pros, we've got a super compact design, good build quality, good selection of ports, and it does not require external power. So cons, outdated HDMI port, poor USB-C data transfer speeds, but this is subjective depending on what you're gonna use it for, I suppose. Included non-detachable cable is too short, so that is a con to me, and it's pretty expensive having some slightly outdated ports here. Now, price-wise, I do think it is expensive, especially with those older generation HDMI port and the USB-C performance. Eh, at 75 pound, it's a fair chunk of change, and there are other docks available, let's say on Amazon, for example, offering similar connectivity but for much less. But I do have to say I have no experience with those ones and the designs aren't as small as this one. What I can say though is the PNY all-in-one portable dock is very sturdy. It's incredibly compact, it's well made and offers a good selection of I.O. that most business people would want to use. The PNY mini dock is worth considering but there may be better options elsewhere depending on what you want to use it for. At the end of the day it all comes down to you know your requirements but Overall, it's, it's not a bad dog. So what do you guys think of this one? Let us know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like and subscribe. Check out our merchandise down below and don't forget to check out our website daily for tech news. I'm Andy, this is Kit Guru. See you in the next one.